Yo, what is up, Church Media Tech? So today I got a different video. I'm going to the church, but we're not going to be there for long. Um, have you ever wanted to try a beta release of Mac OS? And I, I know it's weird, but this is going to help us out. We're going to be able to determine whether the current version of ProPresenter 7 can run well. Uh, a couple apps our church uses, a couple apps maybe your church uses. Uh, we can do beta testing on Mac OS 13, which is Ventura. And uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to run in here, grab a few things we're going to need to do this. And we're going to get going at it because it's like three o'clock and I don't want to be here all day. So, yeah. Okay, so as you can tell, we are on Mac OS Catalina, and I will show you the specs of this PC or this Mac right now. It's a MacBook. Um, I don't know how to get closer, but basically, yep, there you go. You have the specs. I don't care about the serial number because honestly, mm, I probably don't really care about this. You know, this is an older computer we're trying here. It's 2017. MacBook Pro, 13-inch touch bar, all that great stuff. Uh, but you can tell, yes, we are on 10.15 Catalina. So, that's something to remember. We do actually... Here, I'll get them. There we go. We have USB drives. One of these has Mac OS Ventura. And I have not downloaded this is like a clean install of mac os catalina so i haven't installed mac os ventura or uh you know anything else monterey has been on this computer this used to be my daily driver until i upgraded to an m1 macbook pro by the way ignore the mess behind me by the way if you do see that there is leather it is simply because guess what Guess what? We're honoring Mac OS 10.7 Lion today. So I chose the skeuomorphic color. It's beautiful. Just admire the beauty. Now, there are certain parts that the MacBook will not cover uh, of this install because uh, we are doing it via USB. And I know what you're thinking, huh? Why would you install? Why would you install Mac OS? Ventura the beta which by the way this is a beta so do not try this on your daily driver this is why we're trying this on the MacBook Pro we're going to test ProPresenter 7 see its capabilities all that great stuff we're going to even test ProPresenter 6 because some will wonder would ProPresenter 6 work on Mac OS Ventura so we're going to test that out today and find out um, so there's a couple notes I will give you before we go into this. By the way, this is a long video. It took a long time to edit, long time to get right. Uh, but hopefully we get a good outcome. Um, basically, do not try this on your daily driver. If it's an M1 note, you cannot back it down to Catalina. So don't try that. Not that I did or anything. But um, basically, do not back it down to Catalina. Don't. Um, pretty much expect it to run completely smooth via that it is a beta release so be mindful of that um, and we are trying at the moment to install Mac OS like I say Mac OS 10 uh, Mac, uh, Mac OS 13 the beta so first thing we need to do is I have this MacBook here we're gonna look through it should be all Gucci and good. Nothing too important because we haven't installed anything. This is a clean install and everything should go smooth. Should being the keyword. Uh, and, mo and note, this may take hours at a time. So uh, let's hope not. 
please, Lord Jesus above. No, we don't want ours. And by the way, um, we did actually, not on this channel, but on my TikTok, which you can go look at, we did about a year ago beta test uh, Windows 11 when it first came out. We did not beta test Mac OS uh, Big Sur or Mac OS Monterey. So those are the two that I had not tested prior to release. This is the first time I've done a beta. And by the way, you may be asking yourself, why don't you just go enroll in the beta program? Because it wouldn't be as fun, right? I mean, come on. So we have, look us say, these two bootable USBs. One of them is macOS Ventura. One of them is macOS Catalina. So we will find out. Let's go. So the first thing we're going to do, by the way, I'm going to go ahead. I have this here. I think this might be the Ventura one, but I could be wrong. We may have to do this again. But I'm going to stick this USB into my 2017 13-inch MacBook Pro. We're going to try uh, this. Hopefully this is macOS Ventura. I could be wrong. There we go. Maybe. Ah. Okay. So potentially let's uh, just give it a shot. And we're going to go ahead and switch you over to my camera which because this cannot screen mirror the boot picker or the installer so I have a camera here and we're gonna give it a shot so um, we're gonna go to restart option. Ooh. Mac OS Catalina. We don't want Mac OS Catalina, do we? Okay. Pull that out. Here we go. This must be Mac OS Ventura. So, let me lay you down. Look at my roof for a minute while I plug in the USB to macOS Ventura. Here we go. Maybe. Okay, so we have the install macOS Ventura beta. I know my camera's not that hot, but anyway. So we're going to go. Oh, wrong one. wrong thing Let's see. we're going to try to boot into Mac OS Ventura USB hold on let me fix that um, let's see will it allow us to boot into Mac OS I'm using my phone camera by the way so you know you're gonna see some things uh, pop up maybe notifications, but we're gonna give it a shot to boot Mac OS Ventura I am officially bored Come on Mac you can do it Paving the way, put your back into it. I don't know how that song goes. Oh, we're doing something. Okay. So, we are currently, this is recovery. So, we're going to try our best to boot it into OS Ventura. I'm sorry, the camera cannot be sturdy at this moment. Okay. So, we do currently have Mac OS Ventura the beta. Uh, we're going to hit continue. Uh, 
And give it a shot. Oh, great. Loading. The beach ball. How wonderful. We hate the beach ball. Oh, oh, looky there, y'all. We have the licensing agreement. And by the way, it is trying to read that because, the Apple, uh, you're trying to read your own licensing agreement. We're totally going to read all of that. Yep, yep, totally. Mm hmm Agree. Because we totally care. Uh, we're, we're not distributing or selling, so... Uh, what? Huh? I'm assuming it's macOS startup disk. But it could be wrong. Oh well. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it a go. See what I mean? Do you see what I mean? I know. It's awful. Anyway. I'm bored. I'm bored, 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 bored. Okay, so we are now checking back in. It's rebooting. Um, it had 20 minutes to go, so I don't know what it's going to read us right now. But, um, hopefully not much. And hopefully it's compatible with the good old touch bar that I got rid of with my new MacBook. Thank God. Um, let's back out of that. There we go. I'm going to just sit here and wait and see what it does. I'm curious. Okay. So we are in macOS Ventura. Let me close my laptop. Kind of put it over to the side somewhere so I can put this one, hopefully, back over here. Now this is... Ventura that you're seeing and by the way no it's not lagging in real life that is the video footage you're getting we're gonna type in that don't care what you see because like I said not important not connected to any Apple ID so this is Mac OS Ventura you're looking at right now um, I'm super pumped I'm gonna keep this machine on Ventura after this for a little bit and just test it myself and who knows, but we've got a couple goals here today. Obviously, we want to install our software like ProPresenter, ProPresenter 6, um, OBS, ATEM softwares, whatever that you guys use. And by the way, if I don't cover a software that your church uses on the Mac, because not all churches use Mac OS, um, we're going to fix that. We want something a little better. Oh, feedback? Don't care. We will totally give you feedback. Just not right now. Because we need all the RAM that we can get. I got a setting that's driving me crazy. I want to change. I want light mode. And I want Ventura's desktop background to look prettier. By the way, this is the new system settings. Uh, so system... Settings is no longer named system preferences. There we go. We have now changed it to the way we want it. But this is system preferences, and I can make it full screen for you. Okay. So, first thing I notice is it looks a lot like iOS, iPad OS, Mac, Mac OS is old system. Because, like I say, my personal machine is still running Monterey. So I can actually swap out and show you the differences. So this is now. It might come up. Here we go. Okay, so this is the current system preferences. Um, I can't make it any bigger. But basically, it's all grid. It looks like a grid. It looks like, you know, every other version uh, or similar to every other version in Mac OS prior. So, like, Mac OS lion all the way up maybe even leopard um, but it looks everything looks similar to this machine right here but if we swap it back maybe there we go okay so now we're back in Mac OS Ventura but yeah basically this is system preferences so like it it's very similar to iOS now. So, like, we're connected to uh, our house Wi-Fi because I'm at home. I got to go back to the church later to return the equipment except for this computer. Uh, but we're on Ventura, pretty much. We're just checking it out. 
seeing how it looks, Bluetooth, blah, blah, blah. It, like I say, it basically looks like iOS now, which is really kind of nice to have that synchronization between my Mac, my iPad, which I don't own the iPad anymore. I sold that. That ran our Behringer. Um, but I like the synchronization between iPad OS and Mac OS, and so it's really cool. Let's see. Now, I heard about this Mac is different. So let's go check out about this Mac. Oh, wow. Okay, let me, you know what? I'm going to pull it up on this end, on the Monterey end, and show you the differences between Monterey's about this Mac screen and Mac OS Ventura's about this Mac screen. And by the way, when, when it rebooted, uh, I will tell you this on the 2017, it did this weird thing where it showed us it, like the Apple logo and stuff glitched out for a second. So I will take note that this screen is noted, known for like the weird colors and things at times. So it may not happen on all, but it did happen here that it like glitched for a second so not to worry if that does happen most likely it's not a screen problem it's just it something is with the beta software if you do try it um, and I will take you through the steps in a minute of how to register your Mac for the public beta uh, software your personal machine I would get like an older machine like a I don't know Probably, like, if you have a 2017 laying around like this, because it does support Ventura, uh, you should probably use it and not your, like, brand new 2020, 2021, 2019 systems. It's much better if you just use one of your older machines. So, yeah, but I'm going to show you. I got my phone camera here. I'm going to swap out to that to show you this. Here you go. So this is about this Mac with Monterey, the current system at the at this time of recording. This is about this Mac and Ventura, about this Mac Monterey, about this Mac Ventura. So that is something to note. They have finally changed the about this Mac screen. Now I do remember a time when it when it read it didn't like tell you the version of Mac OS you were on it. Some of them that I've seen it would say like OS X, blah blah blah, like ten point. I don't know, Lion, I'll use Lion, that's a number that's in my head, but 10.6 or OS X 10.7. But in this scenario, we just have the MacBook Pro, it'll tell you all about what's inside of it. If you click more info, it will take you to settings, and you can see what version of OS you're on, and all that stuff. But, yeah, so that is something to note. The next thing I want to look at is if we open a bunch of applications and no I'm not signed into Apple ID on this machine. We got a bunch of bouncing icons. We're just going to open tons of them. Okay, so remember now, this is new. This is the typical uh what did they call it? I don't remember what they called it. This is like the typical version, and they're all going to be jumping. Don't worry. It's typical. Like I said, nothing's been set up. App Store, nothing signed in. So this is typical Ventura's like, and, and by the way, this is available on the iPad too, but basically it's called Stage Manager, and I haven't gotten a chance to try it out myself. Remember, this is, uh, what do you call it, Mission Control, I think? And so this is something that's been in the macOS system since like Lion or uh, mm, could have been later than that. Could have been like maybe a little later than that, like Leopard, Snow Leopard earlier maybe. I don't know. But I want to try out their new stage manager feature, which I don't know how to do that, but... Um, Oh, stage manager. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, whoa. All right. 
What, you can go into the stage manager or you can still do that? What? No way! Look at how much cleaner that is. Like, you just swap back and forth. It's so cool. Ah. Oh, I love that. And I guess to toggle it off, you do that. And then you can just throw it back into control. Okay, I get this. This is cool. I like that. I like that. How you like that? How you like it? Let me close all these stupid apps that we don't need. And let's get into the beta testing software. Good, good. <coughs> oh. Okay. Thank God. So we finally closed all those. Um, let's see. What's next? Okay. So we want to beta test some software. So right now, first on the list, of course, because here's the thing. ProPresenter 6 has not been updated since macOS Catalina support ended. ProPresenter 6, in fact, wasn't updated really beyond Mojave. It was updated a bit during macOS Catalina, but that was its limit. macOS Catalina. Now, as you've seen before, and I'm sure you know this, we have... Use Pro 6 before on Monterey. So, support, while it ended in Catalina, it works okay, I guess, on Monterey. And I'm interested to see how the rewritten Ventura system will run Pro Presenter 6. Especially the fact that this is a native Intel machine. And by the way, Pro 6 will work on, uh, like, Apple Silicon, but not great. Because you have to use, uh, what do they call it? I don't even remember, but I know it's, oh, Rosetta, Rosetta, Rosetta 2, I think it is. So we're going to go ahead, go to Safari. That's what we're going to do. And let's install. All right, now, of course, I don't own Pro 6. We have Pro 7. Uh, login items added. I don't care. So we're going to try it. Oh, my Lord. It loads. What? No way. That, that can't be right. That cannot be right. There is no way Pro 6 loads still. On this, like, what? This is the earliest version of ProPresenter 6 available. What? Alright guys, well apparently, according to this, you will be able to still run ProPresenter 6. Point, what is it? Let's go find out. Uh, I think it's about ProPresenter 6. I don't know. ProPresenter 6.3.3 on macOS Ventura. Seven years after its release. What? Okay. Okay. Okay, so Pro Presenter. We, it works. It seems to. We're going to import the... I think there is a way. Is there like a sample library we can in? No. Because I don't want to log in our song select. So, how do I do this? Oh, okay. Alright, let's look through and just throw in something. Great is thy faithfulness. There we go. Great is thy faithfulness, O God thy Father. Mm. It works. It's kind of cheesy, honestly, looking back at 6 to 7. How cheesy is this? Oh my gosh, where's the dark mode? We need dark mode. I mean, it's nothing wrong with it. it, it it's phenomenal. It built the base for Pro 7. It was the bridge between the two. It was wonderful, and it works. It still works. We can even go into the editor. All right. I, I mean, 
What? Oh my gosh. What? How does it still work? How? I mean, I never owned it. Our church is too new to have owned seven. Well, actually, we were started in 2018, so we could have owned six, but we just used PowerPoint and, like, the cheaper software until seven came out. And then we kind of ventured into the seven after Easy Worship. Because we did own that, and that was just a joy. Oh my gosh, we can still work with 6.3. The oldest available macOS version of Presenter 7. Just, just, what? Mind blown. Mind blown. Okay. Well, now that we know that that works, we're going to close, or just minimize Pro 6. And we're going to go get Pro 7. And then, thank you. Don't care. Okay. Okay, so we do have 7. Let's see how it works. And I'm sure that before Ventura comes out, Pro 7 will update. By the way, here's your welcome to Pro Presenter. Don't know if the media is even going to... Oh, wow, we got the beach ball of death. Hey, yo. Okay, let's resize that. I can't see. I do not miss the lag of the Intel processor at all. Okay, so we're on Pro 7. I'll pull up Pro 6 just to lap it over top. This is 6.3. This is the latest version of 7. 6.3, latest version of 7. So that's always important to note. I'm going to close out that just to save some RAM because why not. Let's install some um, media because we need some media to really test out the graphical intensity of what Ventura can handle and what we probably shouldn't be throwing at Ventura on an older machine. So let's find that. How do we do that? I don't know how to do it. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Blah, blah. No, no, no. We're going to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Content. We are continuing our sample grabbing to Pro Presenter. And, and once again, this is a long video. Um, and I'm sorry it's taking so long, and I will try my best to cut out as much as I can from said video. But there are no promises, because I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, we're just doing a beta test. If you don't want to watch the whole thing, like I said, there will be markers. Skip around. Um, next is Proclaim. we got to get Proclaim. And by the way, no, Easy Worship doesn't count. We cannot try it, okay, because Easy Worship is not a Macintosh based software. It is only for Windows. It's that's little it's mini. It's a mini. Okay. So far the graphics are good. We're gonna make some transitions just because why not? And blah 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 no freezing, only a little lagging, crashing, and acting up when it wants to. I see the background is freezing up a bit. So probably get a 16-inch computer, note to self, when we go and re-buy a presenter computer here in the next couple of years, because you know, this year, our budget is shot this year. Anyway, because we have like replaced our drums with this pad, and we have moved to a new church location and we have had to pay for pro presenter plus and so we will not under any circumstance be affording anything new this year but maybe next year maybe don't know what we'll to find out and see oh no wonder i'm scooting so far over my microphone is so far over okay i'm documenting the most that i can now mind you six Seven, six, old, cruddy, ancient <laughs> interface. It's, 
it's not ugly. I just, I'm not a fan of the fact. Now, it's hard for me to see, of course. Here's the thing. I like the lighter interface because it's easier for me to see the lighter interface. But I don't like it because it shines so bright and ignores, like, it distracts me when I'm on stage preaching at a church, a smaller church when they have Pro 6. It, it can be distracting because the light from Pro 6, even when you dim it down, is just blah, right in your face. But if we go here to Pro 7, it's not in your face. It's dark and you can dim it down and it's dark and pretty and new and modern. So what we're learning... I'm going to close six, uh, 7 and 6 at this point because we know that they both work on this. So we have officially tested ProPresenter. Let's go and download Proclaim. Light key 3. Well, now light key 4. Excuse me. Let's. We do have a license, but I'm not activating it here since we don't have any lights to try. Now I will go. I would go get a fixture, and I wouldn't mind doing it and connecting it with our church's interface to Light Key. But I have a mover. Hmm. Is it worth it? Is it really worth it? No, it's not really worth it. So we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. We're not going to go get a fixture. We'll just use their demo show and play around with it. It's taking longer to install than ProPresenter did. How great. We yeah. have. That's phenomenal. Anywho. Waiting, waiting, patiently, waiting, patiently, waiting on it to download. It's taking forever, just like Mac OS did. Oh, yay! And by the way, we were in the middle of a storm when I started. What? I don't care. Does it look like I care? Does it look like I give a crap? No. I don't care. I don't care. We're just going to try to install. Thank the Lord it's working because it wouldn't work on Catalina when it was on our 09. But now it's not because it crashed our graphics system and made it unusable. Alright, we're, we're getting Light Key up. It's going to take a second. It's going to take a second. Oh, Light Key 3. We're going to close the web. Alright, so we're in Light Key 4 now. This is Light Key 4. It's really pretty. We're going to just open our own project because we're just mean like that. We're going to call it test. And I thought, and by the way, there will be a video explaining how to use like here. We don't have the log away. We're just going to pull up some of our R36s. Par 36, we want We're just going to do that. And it's going to pop up here in the preview. We're just going to put them somewhere. Blah. Blah. And we're just going to give it blah. Pretty much. Blah. Blah. And like I said, there will be an in-depth video of Light Key coming out pretty soon from me. Uh, we're just going to put it there. I know it's an odd angle, but it'll give you the basics. Uh, let's see how well it will run, by the way. Okay, uh, changing colors. Let's see, did they update anything decent? No, of course not. There's nothing updated. Let's find out how we can lock out. What does that do? Lock like, hey, huh? Holy moly, Batman. Okay. 
I like that. Hmm. I like that. Okay. Well, light key works, so that's good. But now, and I don't want to do it. I don't want to go get it. But I have to, don't I? No, I don't. Anyway, we were going to try Vista 3 by Chroma Q, which would have been really cool. Except for one problem. It's not. Because it's hard to get. And I don't own Vista 3 by Chroma Q. Light key for Mac, though, that did work. Now, I will tell you, if you use Ventura, and you have, actually, you know what, I'll just warn you now, if you have Monterey on a computer, and you think, huh, we're going to use QLC Plus on Mac OS Monterey, you're not. It's not going to happen, okay? It's not going to work, not on the Intel Mac, not on the, uh, not on the Mac M1s, nothing. It's not going to work. QLC Plus lighting will not work. It just won't. They did not update it. It has not been updated since two years ago. So that is a problem. They need to fix that. So if you know anybody that works at QLC Plus, please contact somebody that works at QLC Plus. Um, the next thing, of course, that we're going to try, and this is quite controversial uh, maybe actually I don't know what is it um, what did I call that back in the day I wanted to try an older version of lighting but it can't be light key because we've already done light key what did they call that thing it was like an old control light software oh it's only for windows unfortunately however if you have a Mac that has boot camp which is not any of the M1 models. And it doesn't look like it's even available here. Huh? Oh, it might be. Hold on. Let's go back. Launchpad. Launchpad. There we go. Boot Camp Assistant. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Good. Good. That's good. Okay, well, I guess uh, as far as software like that, that's all good. The next thing I was really wondering with um, this version of macOS would. And this is the thing I want comments about, the X32 edit app, or the Xair edit app work. Now, I am going to tell you that if they work on Monterey, they're probably going to work on Ventura, um, just because they're good. And even if not, which I'll probably do a tutorial on the X32 and the Xair edit, or probably the Xair edit copy, because, yeah. I'll be doing a tutorial on that pretty soon, showing you our setup and how we do what we do, how to get into the compressions and EQs, but basically, I'll give you the long story short, I did test this, it does work, it does work, so, the Xer Edit works, all those apps work, so yeah, um, now Final Cut Pro, I do not own a license to Final Cut Pro. I've, I'm free trialing Logic Pro right now for some projects, but we don't need um, it publicly. I just, for myself, trying Logic Pro out. But, okay, so I guess that wraps up the macOS Ventura test. If you would like to stay updated to the latest videos, by the way, Pro Presenter 7, wink, wink, it's coming out. Um, the update to Pro Presenter 7 coming out but that's some of the features in ventura so we will leave it at that i love you guys and i will talk to you later bye guys